Welcome back to MMA Al Dente. I am the guy who picked Kanako Murata to defeat Vanessa Demopoulos. And I'm here to talk about Anshul Jubilee versus Mike Breeden. Mike Breeden, 10-6 and 6 is a pro, 34 years old, and he's given up 2 inches of height, but has 1 inch of reach over 28-year-old Anshul Jubilee, who is 7-0 and 0 as a pro. Jubilee made his debut on that... Uh, that event that was after the Road to UFC tournament or whatever, where we had a lot of new UFC newcomers there, debutantes. And Jubilee steamrolled, well, dominated his guy, uh, Jeka Asparaido Saragui. Saragui, that's what I called him during that pre fight video, and I'll just call him that now. Jubilee versus Saragui, it was dominance for Jubilee. Jubilee, who, by the way, is Indian, was. Uh, Take, was able to take him to the ground and advance on him, control him the whole way, advance the mount, uh, get a, have a lot of success, dominate round one, and then in round two, uh, put him away with some nice elbows. He looked really good in that fight, although again, it was against a, a relatively unknown and a guy making his UFC debut. These guys are all from the other end of the world, as far as where I'm standing and sitting. But uh, Drew Blee still uh, got one of his three finishes, and that was uh, in the second round in the UFC. He's a guy who does have four decisions in his seven wins, and two of them are against guys who had been finished, you know, uh, in the majority of their losses, but the one guy to take him to a decision is Drew Blee. So I remember being suspicious of him coming into the UFC, but I like what I've seen from him, and I think... Um, He's definitely not the most physically imposing fighter. I don't know about one-shot kills and all that, but uh, he's formidable on the feet and good on the ground. On the feet, he uh, he's nothing flashy, but he goes throws some good straight punches. He also knocked down the guy on the uh, road to UFC, but uh, which uh, with a hook. But he throws good straight punches. I would have figured he'd have a, a reach advantage here, but he doesn't. He's given up one inch of reach. And uh, really, his the, the ground is where he wants to be, Anshul Jubilee. He's a guy that I think should be sharpening his wrestling, just based on the control I've seen from him on the ground. It seems like he's uh, already uh, far ahead with the jiu-jitsu, but he's got to sharpen the wrestling to make it a jiu-jitsu bout. Otherwise, he could be caught on the feet with guys that are certainly more uh, dangerous and explosive and powerful than him. But technically, he seems pretty sharp everywhere. And again, he looked uh, his best in his UFC performance. So uh, I, I'm, I can't say I'm very high on Anshul Jubilee, but I really want to see where he's at. Mike Breeden, his back is against the wall. He's 10 and 6 as a pro, 34 years old. The 10 wins come 8 via, via knockout, 2 via decision. The 6 losses, 3 via knockout, 3 via decision. The knockouts all come within a minute or a minute and a half. This guy Ivy Nixon knocked him out. Then he was finished by uh, Alexander Hernandez and Terrence McKinney. Two round one beasts and very dangerous guys. But still, I feel like it's no coincidence that all three of his finished losses are in about a minute. This guy can be caught cold. And I think if that's the case in his early 30s, which he's 34 right now, it's certainly going to be the case in his later 30s. So, uh... Mike Breeden, I don't know. You know, I, I I don't have the highest hopes for his future just because the one area in which he's supposed to excel, he's shown a glaring weakness in, uh, you know, being finished three times. But he should have better hands than Anshul Jubilee. I think if he's able to take away the wrestling, he's very much in this fight. Uh, he's not the most imposing fighter either, Mike Breeden, but he certainly hits hard. He knocked out uh, Brandon Jenkins with a flying knee in round three. Uh, that's his best win, and Jenkins, you know, despite making it to the UFC, he's not the highest level fighter, let's be honest. But um, here I'm picking against Mike Breeden, but betting on him. Just one of those situations. If I had to guess how the fight would go, I'd say Jubilee takes him down and uh, controls him, maybe even wins a decision. You know, I would think Jubilee is sharpening his finishing skills and he could put Mike Breeden away, but Breeden's never been put away on his on the ground. Natan Levy was on top of him for 15 minutes and Breeden survived and, then you know, I thought he didn't look bad in the end of that one. But still, he's a limited guy. I think just taking him down is enough to control him and Jubilee is really good at securing control with those hooks. So gun to my head, I'd go with Jubilee winning, 
by being able to win the wrestling battle, but not go through Mike Breeden in the way that he did to the guy Sarah Gui. Uh, Breeden's never been submitted and never been finished on the ground in any way. So uh, that's how I see this fight going. But as far as betting, I'm not betting anything on Anshul Jubilee. Maybe I'll throw a sprinkle on Mike Breeden. Uh, Mike Breeden, you know, I think he does have an advantage on the feet, even though, again, he's got a glaring weakness there. But Drew Blee is not the physical monster that a guy like Terrence McKinney or Alexander Hernandez is. So I don't think he's going to go through him in a minute. And I think that welcomes Breeden into the fight. Worth a sprinkle, in my opinion. But uh, again, the pick is Anshul Drew Blee. I uh, think uh, from the talent I've seen from him, I think he's going to be a little too much for Mike Breeden. Uh, so that's it. Like, share, subscribe, all that horse shit. Check out my other videos.